Hey guys, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I wanted to come on and share with you a sneak peek of the dies that are coming out at ScrapDivaDesigns.com on June 1st. These are all of the dies in the June release. I just got them in the mail yesterday and I am so excited about these really, really great dies to add to your stash. Uh, I did make a project with one of them. I'll show you that one at the end. But for now, I just want to show you the dies, tell you the names of them. If you have any questions before, you know, June 1st, please let me know. Or, of course, anytime. But if you want to get your list together, if you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, my referral link is always in the description box. These products will not be available until Saturday, though, which is June 1st. But um, when you do place an order, if you use that link, I do get a commission. So I appreciate everybody who uh, orders with that link. Thank you so much. And of course, my coupon code at ScrapDivaDesigns.com is strawberry cream. So don't forget to use that at checkout and you'll save 10%. All right. So let me show you these dies. And they're a new color this month, too, which is so nice. I love it. Okay. So the first die is called the 3D Gift Box and this is the color. It's like a, a beautiful kind of a hot pink. Um, I love it. I think it's so so pretty. So the 3D gift box um, I haven't obviously put this together yet but I think it'll be really fun. I love 3D projects especially box type projects because you can make them for the recipient and then fill them with homemade goodies, gift cards, treats, whatever. So it just, it takes your gift to the next level when you make a, you know, a nice coordinating gift box to go with it. So this is the first one. Um, like I said, it's called the 3D gift box. This is from ScrapDivaDesigns.com. And I love that Erica's new dies, they're all on the front now. So you, you know exactly what you're getting. Although this one I think has two two layers. So probably some of the die sets have that. Um, if there are two pieces in here, there will be. So I'll open those up and on, you know, on future videos, but this is just to give you an overview. It's got layering pieces, a lot of stitching and scallop details. So that'll be really fun to test out. The next one is called the Honeycomb Slimline Card. So um, I think this is just, yeah, that's the one layer. So this is a slimline die. So let me just give you an, an uh, estimate here. Cause I think, I don't, I'm not too versed on slimline cards, but I think there's like a mini slimline and a regular slimline. I don't know if they're standard size or, or what, but this one looks like from cut line to cut line will be about seven and a quarter inches. And, that, and that's the outer die. And then from side to side, or the, the width will be three and a half inches. So that's the outer die, which leaves a stitched outline inside. And then you can add this piece too, which is a honeycomb that has really cute detailing, if you can see that on the edges of the hexagons. So this will be great for your bee theme projects. I know a lot of people love to make bee theme projects, me included. I have a few uh, bee inspired collections. I know Echo Park has a new one out as well. So this would be great to pick up for that. And then of course, you know, if you don't want to use the, the inner plate, the honeycomb one, you can just use the outer rectangle. So don't forget to, you know, remember other uses for your dies. So there's that one. And there's another slimline die too. This one's called the star slimline card. So this is the same size, looks like. And this one has a star insert. So look at those cute little stars. Those are so adorable. They're teeny tiny. So you can save those that cut out and use those in your shakers, which would be really nice. So you can use these for uh, patriotic kind of cards, birthday, anything you can use a star for, um, you know, celebrations, even Christmas. So love that. Love how versatile it is. Love these colors. Oh my gosh. And then this is really cool. You know how uh, Scrap Diva Designs has a few of the different like fringe shapes. This one is the fringe star bundle. So this comes with all of these different, well, first it comes with the, the main stars, which are great to have. You can use these in summer projects or starfish. And these are all stitched, looks like three different sizes. And then there are the fringe layering pieces as well. So you could put, you know, one on top of the other, trim them depending on, you know, what paper you want showing. And it cuts out the little fringes too. So that would be fun to cut out. You could probably do that out of faux leather too. Um, you might have to like trim them a little bit with scissors, but, um, Maybe I'll give that a try. And these look like they'd be really fun tags. It looks like it's just, you know, screaming out to be a tag there. So these are a cute size. Let me just measure, let's see, one of the bigger fringes 
it's about about two inches so a nice size and uh, yeah it'll be nice to see what all the designers come up with I always get inspired by my fellow designers and everybody who makes projects with Scrap Diva Designs dies tag them with Scrap Diva Designs on Instagram and that way we'll be able to see them okay the next set is called the beach chair mini album so this one definitely opens up into another section but this makes a mini album in the shape of a, a cute beach chair so that that'll be really fun to make i can totally see a cute beach scene on this um it like, like i'm just thinking as a card of course but a mini album you know the, you can make like your summer vacation kind of album all sorts of fun things so yeah this will be really really um, exciting to work with I think so yep that's the beach chair mini album next we have some words and these are party words so I saw these on I was watching Natalie put some bling on it hi Natalie she had a, a sneak peek of this collection a few days ago so I when I saw this I thought it was really cute the different words here um, and the different fonts like hooray that is just so cute and of course it has shadow around it um, there's birthday and happy obviously great to have in your stash these are really great size too let me just measure like birthday for you um, that is about two and a half inches so great for cards and whatever else you want to put them on here's party in that block print too just like the hooray there's um, another party just in the script this one says hooray with the exclamation point I think that's celebrate another has another happy another happy um, yeah so lots of fun words that'll be great to have for birthday cards and you know birthdays happen year-round so it's great to pick them up when they're available and then you can use them when you need them all right the next set we have is the rainbow shopping bag and this will again will be uh, I'm, I'm thinking it's a 3d project and it's got a really really pretty bow that comes with it with the scallop uh, detailing and the, well eyelet detailing and then uh, stitch trim so oh can't wait to make that bow so I'm looking forward to seeing this this one has another layer of dies inside as well so yeah we'll be putting that together soon for sure again that was the rainbow uh, shopping bag and then oh this is so cute this is the party hat mini album and look at how nice and big this is so measuring from the cut line to the cut line for the outermost part it is about let's see it's about seven and a quarter maybe a little bit more than seven and a quarter inches so a nice big size this would be perfect for a card i love to make cards out of mini album dies but also again out of like one of your kids or grandkids or whoever you know you can make a um, album about their birthday parties that would be so much fun i wish i had this when my kids were little um that would be fun to just you know make a album with all their friends when they were little and that kind of thing because a lot of them are still friends now so it'd be nice to look back and see an album but anyway I digress here are all the pieces and there's the, the this will be really fun to customize the pom-pom on top of the hat and then there's the trim here um, polka dots it cuts out and it looks like uh, a face so you can make a, a face on it too or like a happy face and there's what are these pieces cheeks probably eyes and a mouth so yeah that'll be so fun to work with oh aren't these so cheerful these dies I love them okay and here's another fringe die this one is the fringed birthday balloons so also super fun this would go great with the with the party hat and the other birthday dies so these are different sizes of birthday balloons and they have the embossing there on the dies where the you know balloon gathers they're stitching and of course the fringe layering pieces so oh that'll be fun I could see putting a piece of like thin trim down here oh yeah that'll be really really cute to make for embellishments all right and the next one this is going to going to be a great die set to have this one's called the star nesting set and like we were just saying about stars you can use them all year round and this is a simple nesting set looks like it has four different four different dies maybe five I can't tell with the sticker there but these are like rounded star shapes so you can use these for summer for starfish or you know anytime you need a star die and you could even probably nest a few of them and make a frame make a shaker you know do what you want with that so let me just measure the large one for you um let's see from the cut line and wait those look like frames those are frames 
it says star nesting set, but can you see like it cuts out the edge there? Okay, so that's that's different. That'll so it cuts out the inside and the frame. So you can really customize this with the border along the uh, star, you know, or just use the inside. So that's really cool. I didn't realize that until I just took a better look at it. So it's about four and a quarter inches from top to bottom. That should be about the same. Yep. So oh, that's a really great set to have, a great basic. Basics are always good because you know you get your money's worth out of those. Okay, and then the next one, which has more layers, this one is called the A2 gift box. So look at this size of this. So this will fit an A2 card inside. Of course, you know, I'm sure you can use it for other things as well. Um, so it comes with the, uh, the panel for the box. It comes with a layering scallop piece. Oh, sorry, I hit my tripod. Here, this looks like the side of the box. So that's how, how thick it'll be which is perfect for like a dimensional A2 card. And then it comes with flower dies too. And these are like scalloped, frilly kind of flowers. That'll, that'll, that'll be a nice adornment. Or you can just make a bunch of those and put them inside your box and give them as a gift. So there are more pieces to that inside the die set. And the last one is the one that I started working on already. This one is called the 3D Tiny Vial Gift Box. And these are all the pieces it comes with. And um, I love making boxes like this, so I wanted to start it right away. This is the main piece of the box, and you only have to cut it out once. Hang on, stuck, okay. So yeah, you cut it out once, and it comes with all the score lines, and you fold it to make a cute little gift box for your tiny vials, or of course, for whatever you wanna put inside. And it cuts out a window here. You can either put a piece of acetate behind it, or just another kind of paper. It doesn't have to be a window, but um, I did use it to make a window. And then it comes with um, layering dies. Here's a stitch rectangle you could put on the panels. This one cuts out a frame that you can put over your little window. And then it comes with a bow that you can put on top of the um, uh, closure to make it more look like a bow, and I'll show you that in a second. So yeah, I did make one, like I said, and I used that new uh, collection I got from Joann's, the summer one. So this is what I made, and isn't that so cute? It fits one of the one of the taller um, vials from Dollar Tree, and I just put some pom-poms on either side of it just to kind of cushion it because it is a glass jar. So anyway, the box itself, like I said, it comes together so quickly. There's one glue flap here um, on the side. So you would just glue that after you fold it and after, of course, you put your acetate behind the window. And then you just glue the bottom together and then the bottom you don't, or the top you don't glue together, of course, because you want to be able to get in there. So let me just show you the outside first and I'll take a measurement for you. So from top to bottom, including the, the closure, it's about five inches, but the box itself is about, let's see, um, it's over three and three quarter inches, maybe a sixteenth over that. And let's see, depth wise, it is about, mm, about seven eighths of an inch or so. So it's a really nice size box. You could put like lip balms in here or, you know, whatever you want. Here's where that layering bow goes on top. It just fits perfectly. See, that's like the, what the back of the closure looks like. Well, actually, that's the back of what the closure looks like. This part right here. And then um, it does um, the box itself, that that sun paper that I used, it cuts out the shape of the bow and then you would layer the bow that you make right on top of that so it just fits perfectly. So like I said, I used the summer papers from Joann's. I added a little piece of bling on the front of that. And um, this was some ephemera that I just kind of cut apart and I added summer on this side and vibes on this side. And then I did use that layering panel for each of the sides. I meant to do a different one for the back, but um, I kind of glued the, the same one from the sides onto the back before I got to this side. So I just made them all the same. And then I tied a piece of twine around the box, around the closure, just in a simple knot so it'd be easy to open it. And then let me just show you inside. So you take that off and then it just kind of folds together like that. You don't glue anything at the top and you know, so you can get some stuff out. So like I said, I put some pom-poms on either side and then I filled up this, this vial with a sequence mix, a nice summery sequence mix. If you wanted to add something else, like if you have those tiny vials, I think it's called the tiny vial gift box, right? 
tiny vial gift box. Um, I don't think, well, I don't know if three of these would fit in here. Maybe. I don't have three of them to stack on each other. They might actually, but um, I know two would fit and then you could put like pom-poms or shred or something on either side just to, just to keep them secure and that they don't bang around a little bit. But what a fun way to present uh, some, a little sequence mix or just, you know, whatever you want to put. Let me see, um, I have some lip balms, hang on. Okay, so look, I have this lip balm here, um, a lip smacker. And yeah, that would fit in there really nicely too, or just like a lipstick, whatever you want to put in here. Probably, yeah, like a stack of Hershey Kisses would fit. You could even turn it this way if you wanted to. Doesn't matter. Um, I like it this way for a vial, of course, but I just, I thought this was so cute and I couldn't, couldn't wait to get started making this. And it did come together really, really quick. So if you use double-sided paper, it'd be even cuter. You'd be able to see it through the window, but you know use whatever kind of paper you'd like. I'm looking forward to making more, but I did want to show you the one that I did make just to, you know, give you an idea of what it looks like. And yeah, all of these dies will be available on Saturday, June 1st. I'm so excited. Um, let me know what you guys are looking forward to. I would love to hear, you know, what, what you're thinking about getting. And yeah, so leave me a comment if you can. And I will be back soon with more crafty videos. I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek of Scrap Diva Design's June release. And yeah, happy crafting. Talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.